Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this video I'm going to show you one of my favorite little hidden features in Lightroom that can really save you a lot of time of scrolling up and down and, and get a little less aggravating when you're editing a photo and it's called Solo Mode. So what solo mode is, is I'm going to kind of demonstrate it here for a little bit and let's let's just say I'm going to edit this photo and let's say I want to go to the basics panel and I want to do some basic adjustments here so I'm going to take the exposure up, take the contrast up and this is just a, a really simple example. Uh, I'll take the highlights down a little bit as well. I'll take the vibrance up and then let's say I'll go down to lens correction and I will enable the lens correction here. Uh, let me choose the camera. There we go. Uh, and then uh, let's go down to effects and then we'll choose dehaze and we'll kind of dehaze it a little bit. Uh, and as you can see, what it's doing is it's opening up each individual panel here and it's leaving it open, which is great if you know, if you want to know what kind of edits you've done to it already and what, which ones you haven't touched yet. Uh, but it can be really annoying if you want to keep scrolling up and scrolling back down and trying to do some different edits. So you can see I can scroll back down and do the vignette here, but then I got to scroll all the way back up and uh, play with the exposure adjustments. So what solo mode does is it automatically collapses all of the panels over here once you're done using them. And to enable solo mode, you basically just go up to the basics uh, panel up here. You can probably do it anywhere down here, but I just go to the very top and right click. And here is where you can see all the options. You can display all the panels or take the ones off that you don't really use that much. You can do it that way, but you're gonna see where it says solo mode. When you click on solo mode, it's going to automatically collapse all of the ones that you're not using. So I'm just using the basic one right now. So let me increase the contrast here and then let's go down to detail and you can see it collapses the basic and it leaves the detail open just for me to edit. So I can play with the detail here. Uh, then I can go to the tone curve and it collapses everything but the tone curve and I can play with the tone curve here to, uh, to just play with it a little bit. Uh, so you can see that it does a lot of different things for you if you're, if you're constantly scrolling up and down. Uh, so I really recommend this if you want to save the time and just work on the panels that you're editing with. Uh, it can be a little, uh, a little bit kind of overwhelming if you have all of these panels open and you're trying to find the which, which specific setting that you've been trying to use. So again, just right click up here at the top right here where my mouse is, right click and choose solo mode uh, and it'll be a great way of kind of keeping your develop module organized. All right, guys, thank you for joining me in this quick little video about the solo mode feature in Lightroom. This has been Jordan from Sleek Lens, and I'll see you in the next video.